Hi guys, so this is going to be another video that we are doing. Um, bear with me for a little bit because I am doing everything again like on an iPad. It's kind of weird. Um, then I'm uploading stuff to the computer, but you're going to see my house and I'm turning the iPad around. It's all shaky. So it's not professional and that's just the way it's going to be. Um, anyways, so we're going to do a, a project today that is going to be um, something working with your shadows and I know it's not um, it's not really what's the word I don't know what the word is it's just it sounds like it's oh, this is boring or whatever but it's not it's pretty cool it's easy um, and there is an artist that I am going to mention um, in the description on the YouTube um, channel and he does all of this cool little, I call them doodles, but I mean, they're really cool, cool artwork, um, dealing with objects and shadows and he creates them and turns them into something totally different, which is very, very creative. It's very imaginative. Um, and it's something that I think you guys can do. So all you need is some sort of paper. Again, I don't care if it's white paper, line paper, whatever you want. You need some sort of paper and some sort of writing utensil, um, like a pencil, a pen, a marker, a color pencil, any of the above. Um, and that's about it. And you need an object and a light source. I forgot about that. You need an object and a light source. When I say a light source, I mean like a lamp, a flashlight, the flashlight on your phone, something like that. As long as you're going to be able to create a shadow on the paper, okay? I'm gonna move the um, iPad really quickly and I'm gonna position it where my paper is so that way you can see it, okay? So don't be all like, oh, this video is weird. Okay, bye, love you. Okay, let's see. There we go, perfect. All right, so I have my white paper here. Oh my God, look at my hands, they look so old. Anyways, I have my white paper here. My light source is there huh it's a lamp um so my light source is there and my object i decided to use is going to be my glue bottle so what you're going to do and you can use any object maybe a i mean you obviously want something that's not just perfectly straight you want like or perfectly square because that's going to be a little boring you want something kind of cool um so my object is going to be my glue bottle what you're going to do is you're going to place your object somewhere on your paper with your light source behind it or on the side, um, somewhere like that, to where you create this dark shadow. You need to make sure that you leave your object there. Then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your writing utensil. In this case, sorry, I'm digging through my desk. In this case, um, I'm going to use a pencil because I'm not quite sure how this is going to turn out. So I'm going to try something with it. Um, and I'm kind of turning this because maybe I want it to look different. I don't know yet. Ooh, that looks kind of cool. Ooh, and it says clear in it. Sorry. Okay. I'm distracted. My bad. All right. So I kind of like this because I see a lot of dark shadow through here and it's really perfect. So what I'm going to do is on my shadow and you might need to hold your pencil kind of farther like farther away from don't hold it right here at the end so I am going to draw I'm going to draw or trace my shadow that my object has created and I did not pick the best sharpest pencil for this oh no don't move don't move Okay, and this is just my practice one, so who knows, maybe my second time will get better. Um, there we go. And when I look at this, I'm gonna study it for a little bit, but to me, I don't know, I just see this guy, like I see a guy's face maybe. Here's his nose, he's looking this direction. Here's his nose, his chin, his shoulders, I don't know. So what I'm gonna do is maybe take a marker or something like that and uh, now that I did the outline 
I can kind of move it. I'm just gonna move it off to the side. So then maybe with my marker, I'm gonna draw kind of what I think it looks like. So maybe he looks like this. That's his big old schnoz, a big old honker. There's his nostrils. He kind of looks like he's, maybe he's flying or something like that, I'm not sure. Um, and then I'm just gonna go over all of the lines that I did with my pencil. I'm gonna go over those maybe with a marker or something dark. I don't care, if you have Sharpie, that's cool too. Maybe I'll give him a little bit of hair. And I feel like he's flying or something. Maybe this is like his jet pack. I don't know. These are just little doodles, okay? So maybe here I'll put jetpack, something cool like that. Maybe some like, oh, he's going super fast. I don't know what that is, like flames or something. Not really. It doesn't look like flames, but maybe I'll add to the jetpack here. It's like smoke, clouds of smoke just coming out because he's going so fast. Um, it almost, he almost looks like Groot, but like a nice Groot. Um, maybe here's his arm, his arm to the side, and then I'll draw his like hands for five. Is that how many fingers we have? <laughs> um, and then the rest of them, I don't know. So maybe he's flying and I'm going to draw like whoosh, 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 like all of these super fast lines to show he's going super fast. So this is what I created. Okay. So. What I want you guys to do is I want you to, on your paper, find an object with a light source, place your object down to create a shadow, there's mine, trace the shadow with a pencil, a pen, a marker, color pencil, something like that, and then you can remove, once you've traced your shadow, like I did, you can then remove your object you can turn that into something. That's why I say study it for a few minutes. Turn turn your object until you find something really good and you're like, ooh, that could be this. I don't know. I turned mine a few times and I kind of settled on this. This was just cool. This is what I thought. So then what you're going to do after that, after you remove it, you're going to go over it. You're going to draw it and turn it into something. Create it into whatever you want it to be, whatever you... Um, envisioned or imagined it being based off of the shadow and what you thought. Um, what I would like for you to do when you are done with this, obviously add some details to it. This is not finished right here. This would not be considered finished. Maybe I would add some details like some clouds. Maybe I might add some birds off in the distance to show that he's actually truly flying. Um, and a good idea would have been for me to add some legs to him. But anyways, Add some details. Um, if you have colors, add some colors. And then what I want you to do is to take a picture of it, okay? I don't, maybe your mom, dad, grandma, sister, brother's phone, um, Thea's phone, whoever. Take, picture, take a picture of it with the object. I would appreciate a picture like that maybe um, with the object and then what I want you to do is email it to me send it to me or upload it to the Google Classroom Because um, that's gonna be how I'm gonna say oh they used that or they used um, They used this little thing and it made that kind of shadow cool That's what's that's what I'm gonna be grading you on and and that's what I'm gonna determine like oh that's how you did that so uh, That's basically it for the requirements and what I would like for you to do is try it a few times. Don't just try it one time and give me your first practice and say, okay, there, that's it. I would not turn this in. This is probably not something I would turn in for a grade. Um, this would be my practice to say like, oh, now I understand how to do it. I get to, I get where I need to place things. Cause see, even if you move the light source, your shadow may come out very different, so. Uh, so just play with it for a little bit when you get the final product that you want and you're all ready for uh, for it to be sent and to be graded send it to me let me see it um, I can't wait to see them because your other projects came out so nice 
I really like your monsters. They were adorable. I liked the nature rubbings. Um, you guys are very lucky that you live somewhere that has such beautiful plants. Um, all I had was some grass and it wasn't that pretty. Um, but you guys uh, had some beautiful nature rubbings. And I am looking forward to seeing these, these shadow drawings. I'm gonna upload this on Google Classroom. I am uploading the video on YouTube and I'm gonna send out a remind, okay? Bye guys.